when you talk about Newcastle right now, you're talking about a team that is willing to put up a fight against anybody. I mean, you cannot be playing a Newcastle side with a midfield of James Milner, Jordan mm. Anderson. Mm -hmm. And he scores! Absolutely sensational! Spots friendly. The game is on. Liverpool, Newcastle. You know, Newcastle, they've, they've been performing quite well this season. If you watch the game they played against Man City, I see, for some minutes, I see determined team. You know, even with their new transfer they just added now, recently, um, that I'm talking of Isaac uh, from, um, from La Liga. So, am I, am, are we still seeing the same Newcastle that was willing, you know, determined against Man City to still use the same energy on Liverpool? Are they going to still try to squeeze out a win or a draw with Liverpool? Uh, so I think it might be very early to call that, you know, Newcastle stand a chance to get a win or a draw mm. in their match against uh, Liverpool. Mm -hmm. Simply because I think in as much as a lot of people would like to disagree, but I firmly think that it's an evenly matched uh, fixture in the sense that, you know, Newcastle have got momentum on their side, you know, winning mm. two matches uh, consecutively. And then you also don't want to rule out a, f a very, you know, a very fierce Liverpool side, you know, having thumped uh, mm. Bournemouth oh, yeah. with, uh, you know, 9 0. A record 9 0. A record 9 0 mm -hmm. win. So I think all of those two indices pitched together, you know, just lets us know that we are in for a very tantalizing match mm -hmm. because, you know, Newcastle are beginning to come into themselves right from last season when. They got a new ownership and then, you know, it felt like all of the dollars have started rolling in. Now they can say, oh, we're going in for these big players. And like you rightly alluded to, you know, spending a, over a 60 million yeah. on Alexander the, Isaac, you know. Record like transfer spending, for them. Spending like the big boys would also mm. spend. And they are coming against the Liverpool side who, you know, maybe the match against Bournemouth didn't really show their vulnerability. But then... If those vulnerabilities are still there, which I believe so, in their midfield, you know, you cannot be playing, uh, you know, a Newcastle side with a midfield of James Milner, Jordan Henderson, mm. mm -hmm. you know, and even, even though we know that a player like Elliot is really trying his best, but then he, you cannot really, you know, compare the sort of quality that it's in that Newcastle side. You talk about Miguel Almiron, mm -hmm. you talk about Bruno Gimires, you talk about, you know, a lot of players that have Premier League experiences in the mix, you know, for Newcastle. So I think all of these things put together gives us a very, a very tough match. And I do not, re I do not really see Liverpool having a walkover over uh, Newcastle. Yeah, I, I, I don't also because even getting the record winning against Bournemouth, but if you check when they started the season, they've not really been playing as much as people know them to play. You know, they've been a struggle. Uh, even with the absence of um, Darwin Nunes with the red card, and they still squeezed out a win, which I believe will play against Newcastle. But I see Newcastle as one team that may shock people, you know. With the whole gameplay, the whole because now they are playing, got they are playing confident they've got quality. because the, the numbers of kind of players they bring in, mm -hmm. the money they are spending, mm -hmm. the whole fans and support mm -hmm. and everything. Even traveling to to Anfield, uh, which Anfield has the, the best um, um, fans that they so they say get, but I see few Newcastle will maybe get into a draw. As bad as it is, we get into a draw with Liverpool. Absolutely, absolutely. When you talk about Newcastle right now, you're talking about a team that is willing to put up a fight against anybody. I mean, look at the sort of performance and the sort of challenge that they put up to uh, Man City, that is the current uh, champions mm. of the EPO. And one would have thought that if you could go toe to toe, you know, against a very equipped Manchester City side, you can actually do more against mm -hmm. a seemingly dilapidated Liverpool side. So I see Phil Newcastle try uh, to try to get a draw, even though a draw. Because with the way they are playing now, like they are not ranking anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if they see you, they go 
Absolutely. They go for the win. Absolutely. And which is, you know, with a mix of uh, Maximus and Isaac, it's, it's a whole lot for them. It's, it's, going, it's, it's a powerful front for I them. Know, I, I'm, I, I have... Uh, you know, pre condolences to <laughs> uh, to Virgil Van Dyke, especially Alexander Arnold. We know that he's very he's very vulnerable defensively. Yeah, and you know, we really wait to see how he will come out of this match. But the goal scores absolutely sensational. Spots frenzy. The game is on. If you watch to the end of this video. Please kindly click and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media platform showing on your screen right now and we'll get more of our content because we're giving you good predictions, good predictions, good predictions. See you next time. But the goal scores! Absolutely sensational! Spots Frenzy, the game is on.